Heartland on Cornelia Nogue and on RTE 2XM. Hello and welcome to Garsland on RT2XM with me, Dermot Lambert, for a special all-day broadcast with Crinion and Oak as part of 2021 celebrations. We have young musicians from all over Ireland, ages 10 to 20, who have sent us in videos. Some of them they've made themselves, some of them they've been lucky enough to get into youth clubs, and some of them they've been lucky enough to get into recording studios and on beaches and all sorts of places. Uh, it's a great project to work on. The amount of material that's come into us has been fantastic, and it is such a joy. Today we're going to start off with this. And on Cornelia Nogue and on RTE 2XM. And welcome finally to today, Garage Land, the biggest Garage Landest thing ever, so it is. Um, this is Garage Land at Cornelia Nogue, 12th of June. You'll remember this date forever and ever and ever because it's so super duper what we're going to be doing here with me, Dermot Lambert, and. Hi, I'm Ayanna Church, and you're watching Garage Land at Cornelia Nogue. So today we're going to take you on a little trip around Ireland to see some very talented young people perform. We have a few special appearances too from people like Ryan from Inhaler who actually did their first performance with Garage Land when they were only 16 so that's pretty cool to have them back. That's pretty cool. Ayanna's going to be playing as well to see you now because in the middle of all this presenting there's a couple of nice little bits happening later in the show and there's a duet as well that we'll have a look at later as well which is fantastic if you don't mind me say so. Thank you very much. And who else have we got on? Well, we have Gavin James, who I believe is working on a new album at the moment. Indeed. And then I think we have Craig Walker, don't we? Craig Walker, well we do have Craig Walker. Craig Walker has a new album coming out, Craig Walker on the Cold, and a new Power of Dreams album coming out. And if you want to check out Craig Walker's biggest, ridiculous Spotify successes, um, check out Fade Out Lines by The Avenir, which is Craig and Phoebe Kildare. And we also have Pictures. Pictures, yeah. It's non-stop starting today, yeah. but more importantly, we have performances from young people from all over the country who sent in their videos and their, it's just been such a thrill to work on. Um, we are now going to go over to, we're going to break this up into episodes and we're going to, I think, um, I reckon there's 10, but the beavers are still beavering away, so there could be 11, but we're not going to tell you. We're also not going to tell you who's on, where and when, but Ayanna, you do know who's in the first episode. Yes, I do know what's going to go on in episode one, Dermot. So we're going to fly down to Roscommon to visit the flies. Then we're going to float down to Cork to visit Private Idaho. Then we're going to take a trip to the Kingdom to visit Lily and Jean in Killarney. And then we're going to take a stroll to Ballymun to visit Caroline. Lovely. And while we're in Ballymun, we're going to uh, take a trip across to Factus, our speaking group. They've had a lot to do with today. Some presenters from Factus, great bunch of guys in Ballymun, Tala and Balbriggan. We are going to have a performance from Dave Brown from Picture House. We're going to have our first uh, song of the day from Joshua, Joshua Regala, who's also going to be doing a little support presenting and a, a duet later in the show. And we are also going to have a performance from the young people at FYRC Finkel's Youth Resort Centre. And... Yes, and to kick things off though, we're going to sail down to Waterford to hear from Lithium Lounge.
and I'm going to be singing Le Vie en Rose by Edith Piaf, accompanied by the very talented Noel O'Sullivan and Alwyn Trent. Hi everyone, it's me Marvie and I'm loving lockdown here in Kildare because first and foremost um, I'm happily living here um, in lockdown with my family so it's been amazing because there's been a lot of family bonding amazing secondly is that 
Um, I actually got to convert my attic into a music studio, so that's been great. Uh, a lot of my music covers have been happening there, so and during lockdown, I've got a lot of new equipment, so that's been great. Um, last but not least, my favorite, 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 favorite part about lockdown here in Kildare or anywhere, honestly, <laughs> is that. I'm in my pajamas. I'm in my PJs all day, all week, all month, every day, baby. You can stop me. You can stop me. <laughs> um, yeah, so you know the drill binge eating, Netflix and chill, binge watching, emphasize on eating because that's all I've been doing. Very productive, I know. <laughs> um, so with that all being said, hopefully the gyms will open soon because, you know, I gotta. Mm. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's it. That's to summarize my whole um, time here during the lockdown. It's been amazing and I'm loving it. <laughs>
Garage Land at Crooning and Out with me, Iana Church. And uh, with me, Dermot Lambert. And as part of today's broadcast, we are going to have industry guests uh, on to answer your questions. Now, you've got some really special people lined up. You've got Paddy McBoland, who's a tour manager with Planet, and Shane O'Connor, and to mention just a, a couple. Uh, you can send your questions to us um, at, to at the Garage Gigs. That's on Twitter, okay? It's the only place we're going to take the questions from. Um, we're going to have Sheena Madden, who is, works, Sheena works with Amplify Agency, uh, the PR company. We have Edison Waters. Uh, Edison is a very, very successful artist manager. Currently, one of his artists is Gavin James. We are also uh, going to have Billy McGuinness from Aslan. And Billy is here to answer questions about what it's like to be in a band and songwriting and all that sort of stuff that you all want to know. We have Craig Walker, who is going to be doing a couple of songs for us as well. And Craig, as we mentioned earlier, is a very, very successful musician with Power of Dreams and The Avenor and his current album coming out is Craig Walker and the Gold. And a whole pile of Ask Craig what you like, okay? We have Dave Brown from Picture House uh, is going to be taking questions as well. Ailish Tui, who also works uh, with Collective Management Agency, and Ailish um, years ago and, and again, I believe, manages one of my favourite bands of all time, Roy Seven. And we also have Breffney Banks from Imro, and Breffney will be taking questions relating to copyright and that kind of thing. And if all that wasn't enough, we're also going to be hearing some special exclusives from some of Ireland's biggest artists, especially for us young musicians. Starting off with Dave Brown from Picture House. How long now? We'll all be coming out from under the clouds. We put our best goals on and head into town. Not long now. Just maybe coming around to where our feet are finally found. Not long now, it seems a lifetime since we've been anywhere real that we've had the chance to feel. Or the touch of a hand, or the sound of a band, and yes, yeah, so it. All we are to do is to dream We should listen to the powers that be 
so it would seem. We have had a buzz over the last two months putting everything together. We have had young presenters, young people who have off offered to present, who have volunteered to present uh, on today's show, uh, not least of which are from a club called Factus. Factus is an Irish speaking uh, club, or clubs I should say, uh, based from Tala in Dublin and Ballymon in Balbriggan. And I went out to visit them all and to take some shots. And I am going to hand you over now to the good young people of Factus. Bosch's <laughs> Jockey Guards Land and Cringing and Gog for Hippa Hain. It's Michelle Ailabab. It's Michelle Charlotte. Oh, it's Michelle Amy. Oh, Gog for Hippa 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 Club Oiga Factus. People talk to will train all done go. I wondered about that myself for years and years and years and years. And I suppose there's two answers. Firstly, I don't know. And I think anybody who tells you that they do know is telling some fibs because uh, it's just something that you have in you. And uh, But what I would say about that is that as the years go on, you get better and better at uh, crafting those ideas that you have. And it's like anything else, you just need to rehearse and practice at it because if you do it every day, even if you write rubbish, it doesn't matter because the machine, the part of you that knows how to do it is learning all the time. And then as a consequence, sometimes you can write a song really quickly. Um, but definitely when you kind of come up with the idea first, which I really wouldn't have an idea where that comes from. Now, I suppose, as I say, moving when you're, you know, when I've been at it as long as I have that, I can come up with an idea or a brief for a song, so I kind of know what I want to say. 
and then just fit a tune underneath it. That's normally what happens first with me anyway. I, I write I write a song that way first. I would get an idea brief, uh, an idea for a song, a title, and then write some music underneath it and then finish off the words afterwards. So that's kind of my process. It's Mr. Ruby August. Um, Conus are screaming to the quid era. Well, isn't that the, that's just the, the million dollar question again. You don't know, well, you can, you see, it depends, that's all relative. It's relative to anybody, one, to the writer and two, to the, to the listener, because to the writer, uh, some songs can give you goose pimples. That's how, that's how I would know that I'm onto something good because I'm getting a physical reaction from the song. And there are scientific bases for that. Um, in the way that we react things that, you know, music is, hearing music is like listening to a feeling. That's what it's like, you know. And, uh, but how do you know it's a good song? You don't know. I mean, Sunburst, our biggest hit, we used to play it live and it bombed. Every time we played it, nobody nobody got it. And then when we recorded it and put it on the radio, it was a big hit. So it's hard to know. And if I was writing songs, what I would say is I wouldn't write songs um primarily to entertain other people, if that makes sense. I think anybody that has any longevity in the business writes songs primarily for themselves first. And as I said in my last answer, that you can uh, you can kind of craft the song into whatever kind of way you want it to be. But definitely, uh, I find anyway that, you know, the best songs are the ones that are recorded. Um, or that you, that, that, you, uh, that you write and record for yourself. This is Gareth Land at Crean Union and with me, Dermot Lambert, and Ayanna is off somewhere interviewing people, and the young guys from Factus are off interviewing other people at Gaelic. I want to say a big hello to the guys in Finglas Youth Resource Centre, to Nick and all the crew out there, and I want to say a special thanks to Jordan for doing the voiceover on the recent uh, RTE television and radio ads. This is JL and Maria from FYRC. Chasing dreams and 
catching all the pieces But remember, everything happens for a reason Ooh, I wanna talk to you, baby, yeah Talk to you, baby I've been working out of five, but I hope you're still here, yeah Shout out to all of the crew out in the Ballymun Youth Resource Centre. Um, they have taken part in so much stuff over the year that Garsland has been involved in. We've done a lot of online projects for young artists. Um, the gang out there, Tanya and all the crew, are just fantastic and I want to just congratulate them on their work. We have two artists from B, uh, from Briar uh, today and we're going to kick things off from Briar with Emma Loftus. Hi, I'm Emma. I'm from Briar's Music Club and I'm singing the name again. I've seen you twice in a short time Only a week since we started It seemed to me for every time I'm getting more open hearted I was an impossible case No one could ever teach me But I think I can see in your face There's a lot you can't teach me So I wanna know What's the name of the game? Does it mean Beginning to go And you make me talk And you make me feel And you make me show What I'm trying to conceal I trust in you Would you let me down Would you laugh at me If I say What's the name? 
You're watching Gary's Land with uh, RT2 Exam on Cranion and Rogue, at Cranion and Rogue for this all day broadcast. We have had videos from all over the country, from young artists aged 10 to 20, from all sorts of different music backgrounds and all sorts of genres. Um, we have also had different clubs and projects taking part in the show and one of the um, groups that has uh, been working with us is from Belgium Productions. Now, uh, Joshua Regala was um, in The Voice UK in 2019, 2020, and he went miles and miles and miles and miles, miles. Joshua has been a delight to work with, and he's done some lovely work with us. I'm going to send you over to Joshua, but from Belgium Productions, we also have uh, tracks from Marby, and we have something from Fiona Alexandra as well. And then, then later on in the day, we are going to have a beautiful duet with Joshua and Ayana from Mezzo Music Academy. Enjoy. Thank mm -hmm. you.
Land on Cooney and Oak and on RTE 2XM. Shahana o Club Baptist Value Brigade. It's Misha Eva. August the Shipshake back in there. Garage Land at Cooney and Oak. Hurricane Falls and more rib that flies. Hello there. Where the flies? Oh, is this turned on? Hello there. We're the Flies from Roscommon. And uh, we're going to play two songs for you here today, two original songs. Uh, and the first of which is called All About. So, hope you enjoy. <laughs>